Ever since I was little, I would watch shows like Cops and watch all the different types of people get picked up by the police and taken to jail. I had always been so set that I would never want to end up like that, that I even set my goals and career paths on law enforcement and becoming someone to help and not be in jail. March 3rd, I decided that I would drink because of how terrible that my day was and how I wanted to hang out with my friend before he left for college and I was alone once again. We went to a movie and then went to a store and next thing you knew, we were at a park. We sat there for a couple minutes, played soccer for a little while and down went an entire bottle of vodka, an entire bottle of wine. It started to rain so we both ended up running into the backseat of my car and sitting there talking for a couple hours. We were so drunk, we totally forgot that it was midnight and we both had to be home soon. We both ended up passing out and next thing I knew when I woke up, there were so many cop cars surrounding us. An officer walked up to me and asked me my name and I gave him my license and I thought everything would be okay. I don't really remember much after that. I do know that I ended up in the back seat of a cop car. We drove about 20 minutes out to a station. They filed paperwork. They gave me three phone calls. I used the first one to call my mom, and she didn't answer. I used the second to call my grandparents, and they answered, which ended up in them calling my mom and her yelling at me. I sat there waiting, and finally they took me to the back where they took my blood and made me pee in a cup. I have scars on my legs and my arms from self-harm, so I was put into the special side of the jail where you have to wear a green padded dress and it's Velcro so you can't hurt yourself. I was only in there for a day and a half but felt like I was in there for four years. Finally, I was allowed to leave. I didn't know what to do and I didn't know how to feel. My mom came and picked me up, $271 for my bail. They had taken my car and I had to go pick up my car, $180. I went to counseling right after that and went to the doctors and had to get on antidepressants because the thought of sleeping and being there again made me scared. About five months have gone by and the thought of being in jail still haunts me. I don't ever want to be back there again. I'm afraid to drive. I've pushed so many people away because I'm afraid that something bad will end up happening and I'll be back in that situation. Now I know what to avoid and what will happen. We totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.